went in last year for my annual physical and they do the blood work. And you know the number of different tests that they do in the blood work, but one of them is the PSA. But I really thought he was overreacting because I have no symptoms. I never felt bad. I never had any problems with the plumbing, you know. Six of the 13 biopsies that he had taken came back positive. Bill was diagnosed with intermediate risk prostate cancer, which is the number one cancer in men. Options for prostate cancer vary depending on the clinical stage, the diagnosis, patient's risk factors. Common treatment options would be active surveillance, radiation therapy, or surgery, which could be done via open or robotically. The amount of information you get is, is uh, at times a little bit overwhelming, but it's really appreciated. You know, you really have to digest what you want to do. It is very important that we come to a decision together and having a long conversation with the patient, um, his family, if the patient wants the family there, so then my wife and I came home, we said, okay, these are the pluses and minuses of each of these courses of treatments, and uh, we decided to go with the surgical option. Robotic surgery, unlike open surgery, benefits the patient in less blood loss, earlier convalescence time. Bill, after the procedure, did very well. His surgical margins were negative, meaning that there was no cancer um, seen at the margins of where we cut the prostate. He has a terrific prognosis. There's no reason to believe that life just doesn't go on now, you know, and um, you know, we're very thankful for that. That's ex extremely important. You know, we just retired a couple years ago. We got a lot of travel plans ahead of us and um, you know, we can do them.